What's up YouTube? Mechanic here, Mechanic Gaming. Um, wanted to go over a few things with you on Metro Last Light. Now, my initial goal was that was going to be the first video review I got to do for you that had commentary. But unfortunately, be it, it just that beast of a game or it's that bad of a port, one or the other, um, my frame rate had a completely different idea for it. I have having a terrible time trying to keep a frame rate decent enough while recording to, to get that video out to you guys. So I was on there um, on Twitter and PCGamingWiki.com hit me up and let me know of a couple fixes for a lot of problems that people have been experiencing with Metro Last Light. And the two issues that have been going on are the game crashing when you change resolutions, I had that once, and a lot of shadow corruption. Now the shadow corruption has been happening primarily with uh, ATI video card users, of which I am one. And he posted up a couple fixes, and I did the one for the shadow corruption, and not only did it fix my shadow corruption, it literally doubled my frame rate. Um, so I wanted to make a quick video sharing these fixes with you guys so that you could try them and see how well it helps you out too. Um, so again, all credit to PCGamingWiki.com. They figured this out. Um, uh, we'll be putting a link to the fixes in the description as well as a, a how-to on it. But uh, we're going to go through right now while I'm recording and uh, show you how to do it. Now here's the website, PCGamingWiki.com, and this is the Metro Last Light page, obviously. And notice it, it mentions the field of view, which a lot of people have been having issues with as well. Right now it says not possible to change, but they do say that developers are going to fix it with a patch. So excellent on the devs for reacting to that one. Now the problems here that this is the fixes easy enough the little config file modifications um, not too bad anybody familiar with PC gaming has probably done it a bunch of times um, when you're changing resolution has it right here and I'm gonna go through you know step by step for the people that don't know help them out a little bit so easiest way to navigate to these points is to just copy paste it into the search bar in the start menu no big deal <clears throat> And we get that, and we're going to get our key, uh, config file. Open that up with a text editor. I just use Notepad. It's the easiest way. And to find what you're looking for, uh, Control-F, quick way to do it, and just type in the value that you are searching for. There we go. And for you guys who are crashing on your resolution change, you can either change it manually right here in these two settings, or you can unplug, if you have multiple monitors, you can unplug all but one. Kind of speaks to the fact that this is a definite console port. Um, when you're done making your changes, always make sure when you save this, set it as read only. Uh, that way when you go back into the game, it can't mess you up. Now the shadow corruption fix is the exact same deal. Uh, same folder, same file, and you're going to look up this value, R underscore API, and just look for that, R underscore API, and it's ha handily right here in front of me. You're going to change that from a 2 to a 0, and save it, make it read only, and you should see a phenomenal frame rate improvement. I know I did, as well as getting rid of the, sh the shadow corruption. So there's a video for you. I hope this helps you guys out. Again, uh, instructions and a link to PCGamingWiki.com will be in the video description. And all praise be to them for figuring this one out. All right, guys. See you next time.